In this video, we're going to use this Craftsman clamp feeder. It's a 82369, measures both AC and DC. And right now we've got it set for AC 40 amp scale. And we're also going to use it to measure DC on a solar uh, power experiment we're doing. But this particular part of it is AC. We've got this uh, piece of short piece of extension cord with the outside insulation stripped off of it so we can get at each end of the conductor separately. And we're going to show you what happens when you measure them. Okay, we're hooked up to a thousand watts of uh, halogen work light. We'll just clamp this. Let's, let's zero this first. Okay. Here we're on the black lead, just normally the hot lead. We can see that. We're at 6.62 amps. A little hard to see if the reflection's in here. And uh, we'll turn it around. 6.59, about the same. Let's put it on the neutral wire here. 6.60, 6.61, turn it around. So you can see measuring the hotter neutral lead independently, you can get consistent measurements no matter which way you put it. The other thing to point out too is um, let's get this around like that. Is it doesn't matter so much where the lead is in here, you get pretty much the same reading. You don't want to clamp down directly on it because that does give you a bad reading. Now, this is what happens if you clamp around both of them at the same time. You basically get zero. That's because the current's going in one way and come back out the other, they neutralize each each other so now if you take any one of these leads we'll just use the neutral here it doesn't matter which one we'll kind of double it over like that and measure it we have 13.27 hopefully you can see that so it basically doubles it that's because it thinks there's two conductors with that amount of current going through so basically the cramp on meters are great just be careful how you use them and uh, remember to uh, measure one conductor at a time. We're going to set the meter for DC on the 40 amp scale and measure some solar power. But what this is, this is a, a solar energy experiment I'm doing. I'll be a subject of another video where we've got a uh, homemade calorimeter here with um, four liters of water in it. We've got this uh, little device over here that measures current voltage and the, accumulates the power uh, excuse me the energy in watt hours and uh, but what we're going to do is take a look at what happens when you use a clamp on meter on these DC uh, wires because this is solar so this is just an extension cord I stripped off the outer insulation green wires not doing anything since there's nothing grounded the, what would be the uh, neutral and hot, the white and black, or simply the two leads coming off the solar panel. So what we're going to do is measure the current, uh, and we'll just clamp this on. You can see that, hopefully. 5.40, roughly, it bounces around a little bit. Let's turn it around. Five point four zero, really the same thing. Let's look at the other lead. Five point three eight, five point four, so same thing. Let's turn it around. Five point four one it's really the same thing because it does very little bit now let's clamp it on both these leads zero they cancel each other out 
Most likely this is a Hall effect device for measuring DC. Not totally sure how this this uh, this device works, but uh, they will cancel each other out because current's going one way in one and the opposite way in the other. So let's try another th little thing that's a little bit different. Doesn't matter which lead we use here because you get the same measurement in both of them. Let's loop it around like that. See that? Doubles it. 10.74, 10.73, 10 10.76. Um, that uh, is because it thinks there's two current, two current carrying leads in there. So uh, another thing you should do is and never do is don't clamp on like that. That's not going to work. It gives you a bogus reading. And it really doesn't matter if you look in here. Where in here, in this opening, the, the current carrying conductor goes, you get basically the same reading. So I hope that helps. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please uh, uh, subscribe and like the video. And you, there should be some buttons here shortly that uh, will allow you to click on the Anisotropic Plus button and subscribe. And also some links to other videos. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it.